the wolf and the seven little kids. There once was a mother goat who had seven little kids. She loved them all very much. One day she had to go to the market to buy some food. Before she left, she called her little kids all around and said, I have to go to the market. While I am gone, do not let any strangers into the house. There is a nasty wolf that will try to trick you into letting him in, she said. If he comes in, he will eat all of you. La he likes to discharge himself, but you can tell that it is the wolf by his black paws and raw voice. We won't let anyone in, mother, said the seven little kids. We will watch out for the wolf. Soon after the mother got left, there was a knock on the door. It was the nasty old wolf. Of course, who is it? Asked the seven little kids. Dear children, I am your mother, said the wolf in his raw voice. I have come back from the market and I have a present for each of you. Open the door and let me in. But the little kid remembered what their mother had said. When they looked out the window, they saw the wolf's black paws. We won't open the door, said the oldest kid. Our mother's voice is sweet and soft, but your voice is raw. Our mother has white paws, but you have black paws. You are not our mother. You are the nasty wolf. Hmm. The wolf was very angry. He stormed away. But as he went, he had an idea. He got some chop and chewed on it to make his voice smooth. Then he found some flour and rubbed it all over his paws to make them white. Ha <laughs> ha! The wolf laughed weakly. The kids will be tricked now. The wolf hurried back to the cottage and knocked on the door. Your mother is home, said the wolf in his smooth voice. Please let me in. The kid looked out of the window and saw the wolf's white paws. They thought it was their mother, so they opened the door. The wolf jumped in, caught them one by one and glued them up. Then he fell asleep. Soon the mother goat came home. When she saw the sleeping wolf and his harsh belly, she knew at once what had happened. At first, she cried for her poor children, but then she saw something moving in the wolf's belly. My kids are still alive, said the mother goat to herself. Quickly, she ran inside the cottage to get her pepper pot. The mother goat shocked a lot of pepper into the wolf's nose. His nose began to inch and then achoo. He sneezed loudly seven times. With each hutch, 
sneezed out popped one of the little kids soon all seven kids were out but the wolf did not stop sneezing he sneezed all the way into the forest and out the other side and he was never seen